Elvi, and uh, I'm with Chainlink Labs. And I'm really excited to have you all guys here uh, joining us for this conversation with ChainML and IOSG. Um, how many of you guys heard about decentralized machine learning and AI concept before? Great. So we've got some people here. Uh, and I'm very excited about this topic because I think it's one of the nascent segments of the industry, and it's a very exciting one. And I think it has very tremendous potential for advancing the, the Web3 uh, industry. So with that being said, um, you know, uh, Ron and Gohan are here with us, so very excited to have you guys here. Why don't you guys uh, give some brief introduction and uh, we'll, we'll start there. Thanks, LV. Um, I'm Ron Bodkin, uh, founder and CEO of ChainML. Um, we're unlocking machine learning for Web3, and you know I've been working in this space at places like Google and Vector Institute for the last 15 years. Thanks. Yeah, this is Gokhan from IOSC Ventures. I'm a managing director at the firm. Uh, I'm leading the investment research that we have over there. I've been investing in this space since, since 2017. Happy to be here today. Great. Thank you. Um, so, Ron, I'd like to start with you. Um, we've known each other since the beginning of the year, and it's been very exciting experience working with you, and uh, we've had some great conversations about uh, the importance of machine learning, decentralized machine learning, and uh, chain ML. Um, and I also know that you recently got pretty exciting news. Um, so why don't you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, yeah you bet. I mean, so we think, um, there's a ton of opportunity, it's a ton of need to be able to apply machine learning in the Web3 space, especially as you see increased amounts of data and complexity and sophistication and DeFi and, and NFTs and beyond. But the thing is that trying to do machine learning on chain doesn't work. It doesn't scale in data volumes or computational capacity and even future scaling solutions won't work. So you know, we really think it's critical to have an, an effective way that you can actually deliver the value of machine learning um, and so, you know, we, we're excited to have uh, announced raising a $4 million seed round led by IOSG um, to help us build out that vision and be able to really deliver on that promise of decentralized machine learning. And so, you know, we're going to be using the funds, number one, to uh, build up the engineering team to develop, and number two is to collaborate with design partners to help them succeed with AI and machine learning in their Web3 projects. That's very exciting news, and congratulations for the recent round. Uh, and I'm sure we'll have to see exciting developments coming up from here. You know, you mentioned that it's um, not possible uh, for you know, Web2 necessarily do the, the workloads that decentralized uh, Web3 uh, focused uh, machine learning products could do. Can you tell us a bit about the reason for it. What is that difficulty that Web2 cannot solve? Yeah, well, it's, it's really important to preserve the value proposition of a blockchain, right, in the sense of being able to have censorship resistance, transparency, extensibility um, for third parties to build on your application, right? So we think it's important to still have those properties and decentralization, even if you don't do it on a blockchain, right? We think that there's a uh, you don't have to give up and say, well, then we'll just have a centralized service and have proof of authority trusting some cloud, right? So we think there is a good middle path, right? We certainly see a lot of opportunity around uh, integrating the chain link for trusted Oracle network to integrate off chain, you know, working with partners like Space and Time for providing decentralized data that can power the machine learning services. Because machine learning isn't just about compute, it's also about giving you the ability to use large amounts of data for your computation as well. And you know, indeed, you know, it's an area where we're partnering with uh, de design partners, uh, building our MVP like Solidity for risk metrics in DeFi or Robodex for on-chain portfolio management. And in fact, we'd love to learn uh, from more people. I don't know if we can pull up the next slide, but we've got a, a link to um, a questionnaire. We'd love you to share any information if you're here and you'd like to give us more feedback of your thoughts and needs in machine learning. We'd certainly love your feedback. That's great, and uh, yeah, I, I think having having feedback and you know from the community is extremely important for the development of products. Just because what you're building is so nascent, and um, you know, I think it's important to have that feedback and um, 
build on that. But um, what kind of use cases would you say are available, becoming available now on because of TNML that weren't available before? Or yeah. what, how do you expand or better them? Yeah, we, we think that there's a whole class of opportunities where people can do things like build more sophisticated DeFi, DeFi protocols, right? Like we're working with an options marketplace where you need to lose a large amount of data to effectively price D options in a DEX, right? We're working with um, NFT analytics for fraud detection and pricing analysis where large amounts of data are important. We're working with a uh, design partner around uh, under collateralized lending and how can you do credit scoring integrating on and off chain data. You know, we're working on recommendations and spam filtering and social, right? We see lots of needs around fraud prevention um, in, in DeFi, as, uh, you know, as well as a range of other uh, DeFi use cases. So yeah, we see uh, you know, quite a range of different scenarios where there's a ton of opportunity to use more data and more intelligence, but to make it still compatible with the value proposition of Web3. You're doing it on-chain, allowing DAOs and decentralized organizations to take advantage. And what would be your advice for any projects that are trying to get into this segment? Um, what would you suggest they start looking at, I mean, besides talking with you um, and um, you know, partnering with you? Um, any advice you would say? Yeah, I mean, I think it's important that Web3 projects bring in the talent, bring in data scientists, right? That, you know, there's a ton of work in just collecting the right data and having a data strategy, as well as a clear notion of how real-time decisions based on machine learning can improve your product. Thank you. Um, and Gohan, I, I'd like to, um, you know, ask you, um, I know that IOSG is a pretty known fund and you guys have been around for a while and you personally have been investing for a while as well. Um, can you please tell us a little bit about OSG and what is your investment uh, thesis there? Sure, yeah. Uh, so very briefly about iOS Ventures. Uh, we, the fund was founded in 2017. We call ourselves a thesis-driven uh, Web3 native, crypto native uh, VC firm investing in the space. Uh, we raised our first fund in 2017, uh, and then since then we've been investing in a lot of layer ones. Uh, we invested in, we're one of the largest investors in Neon Polkadot from Asia. We invested in Avalanche Mina. In 2018, when the DeFi wave came, actually, we're again one of the first investors in DeFi. Seed investors in One Inch, we're investors in Matcha, Zero X, uh, Uma, KPTC, etc. And we raised our fund too, that is in 2020, a $100 million vehicle that we're using to invest in Web3 firms. Uh, around 60% of that is already deployed. Uh, for that fund, we're still very big on the infrastructure and DeFi. Uh, we are one of the investors in Arbitrum, Starkware, Aztec, some of the layer twos that you have in the space. Uh, but then we're also following the new kind of like trends in the space, right? Uh, we're investors in Illuvium, Seed Investors, one of the largest investors in that gaming app, uh, big time. And on the social side of things, we're investors in Project Galaxy and CyberConnect. So you could think of IOSC as a generalist fund yeah. that has been investing in the space, right? And coming to our relation with ChainML, we see this emerging uh, thesis in the space that is off-chain compute, right? Uh, and then we think ChainML is just building as such an essential part of that thesis. So we are proud investors in ChainML. We are leading the current fundraising of ChainML in that context. Thank you. So based on the you know, current economic situation and the whole development of the industry, um, and it sounds like you guys are pretty much industry agnostic, but uh, are there any segments that you are you know, getting particularly more excited about, um, you know, based on just what's happening, the recent developments, um, and where do you think the industry you know, will continue going in the next year or two? Sure. Uh, I think the most essential part of crypto Web3 investment is still on the infrastructure side, right? You need to have infrastructure projects like Space and Time, like ChainML, that is going to power the next generation apps in the space. Uh, so as part of this off-chain compute part, we think chain ML is coming into place. And there were, if you look at it, uh, there were a couple of attempts in the past. Uh, there were off-chain attempts, uh, infrastructure projects trying to build what chain ML is building. But then they were lacking, first of all, having these like, computationally heavy things on-chain is very expensive. 
and smart contract languages are not very compatible with the traditional uh, machine learning libraries, right? So ChainML is coming into space, uh, bridging this like much needed part of things. Uh, so they're gonna enable uh, our existing portfolio to provide their users much sophisticated use cases. And one thing we see is, even when we're talking, first talking to ChainML, our existing portfolio companies, Solity is one of them, and a couple of others are actually, st they already need this, right? They need machine learning algorithms, because if you look at DeFi apps, gaming apps, NFT apps, they're all very data rich. So they need something like ChainML, where they could use the machine learning algorithms to come and make computations and get back to their users and provide much more sophisticated services. So this is where we see like a great synergy between ChainML and our portfolio companies already. From what you're seeing, do you think the companies in general are ready for this very niche segment to start integrating with? Exactly, definitely. And I think like already Ron has mentioned a couple of the use cases, like Solity is building a decentralized risk framework, basically. We're leading their round. And they're gonna be need to they're gonna need to use the chain ML to create these machine learning models so that they can actually meet the demand of their users, which require much more sophisticated risk frameworks when they're interacting with the DeFi applications. This is one of the things. And then on the borrowing and lending side, you would have all these applications that are actually providing their users different levels of collateralization requirements based on the user profile, based on the asset types that they're using. You could have under collateralized borrowing and lending platforms that could manage the and control the risk, the system wide risk that they have because they're under collateralized. These are just like some of the use cases that we already see, but I think what ChainML is enabling is almost like a paradigm shift in a sense that you will have very like a new design for the existing dApps. Yeah, I completely agree. I think, you know, projects like yours, Ron, really. Uh, are you know these cornerstones of enabling that next level of innovation in the space? Yeah. Um, I'm so excited about seeing what you guys will start working on and continue developing. Um, and that being said, what what is your on what is on your product roadmap? Um, where do you see ChainML in a year? Um, what people can get excited about about ChainML? Yeah, I mean you know I think over the next year we see. Uh, immediately, you know, we're engaging with some of the more sophisticated companies that already see the opportunity for machine learning and bring them the benefits of decentralization. But you know, we, we plan to scale up and to make it much easier to use. Like we think that good integration so that Web3 devs can take advantage of machine learning services is going to be incredibly important to, to grow the industry and to make it more part of everyone's everyday toolkit. Right? And, and we think what that's going to allow is it's going to allow Web3 to be more competitive and to solve a lot of the use cases that today are being solved by you know, the centralized giants of Web2, right? So we, we're, we're optimistic that this will be part of the Web3 wave to bring a better internet that empowers users and creators. And one of the things I'm personally passionate about is real algorithmic choice, right? So like, hey, if you're using Web3 social and future in the metaverse, you'll be able to choose what recommendations come to you. You won't have some, you know, CEO tell you what you're going to have to see or you have to be locked out of where everyone is, right? So open standards with machine learning choice built in we think is an incredibly important part. And I guess I'd be remiss of saying we should show our other slide and say we're hiring. So if you know great product engineers that are excited, um, you know, we'd love to, uh, love to hire. Um, I guess, you know, so feel free to reach out to me on that and then I'll, I'll pass it back uh, to you, LB. Yeah, um, go on. I think we are um, approaching the end of the panel, but um, if yeah. you have any last insights. Yeah, there. similar to what Ron said, if you guys are building something that complements what ChainML is doing or that uses the off chain compute in general, if it's an if infrastructure project or if it's a dApp or whatever that is, we're interested in talking to you guys. Uh, please reach out to us on our website or like. I'll be standing by there as well, moving forward. And, and if you're interested in learning more about ChainML, maybe partnering with us, we'd love to hear from you about that too. Uh, what kind of companies you, would you like to partner with ideally? Any segment specifically? I mean, we see a lot of interest in DeFi, but yeah. you know, anybody that's got a lot of data and sees where machine learning or data-rich compute could help your Web3 protocol or app, we'd love to talk to you. Excellent. 
Well, thank you so much for your time and for sharing your thoughtful insights. Um, uh, and I hope the audience learned something today that they didn't know before. Um, we'll be outside by the booth, guys, uh, if anyone wants to continue the conversation. Um, but thank you so much for your time and for your attention. Thank you, everyone.